When it comes to recycling, some plastics are more difficult to recycle than others and are often sent to landfill, incineration, or are leaked into the environment. Mura Technologies' new process, Hydro PRS, converts waste plastics into virgin-grade recycled hydrocarbons, creating a circular economy and significantly reducing carbon emissions from the plastics industry. A revolution in the way we deal with waste plastic is about to become a reality. Plastics previously considered to be non-recyclable were destined to be buried, burned or leak into the environment. Now a multi-million pound plant nearing completion in North East England is set to prove those plastics can indeed be recycled. Mura Technology has been giving a preview of its groundbreaking Hydro PRS plastic recycling system. We definitely should be excited, you know, we're showing that plastic is part of the solution and it's no longer the problem. In this plant what we're seeing is something that's going to be really positive and, and give it a, a new lease of life and ensure that the plastics is circular and, and can go back and make new plastic packaging again. This first site is designed to prove the concept works at scale and can be rolled out worldwide. A lot of materials are either burnt or leak into the environment, being shipped overseas to be treated by less developed countries and we've all seen the effects of that. What we want to do is take that material, put it through our process and recycle that back into liquid hydrocarbons to make new plastics. When it comes to recycling in our own homes, it's all a bit hit and miss. What can we and what can't we put in the recycling bin? But what's being built here on Teesside could revolutionise what we do with our plastic once we're done with it. For example, the plastic trays used for ready meals can't be recycled by traditional mechanical methods. But this plant can deal with them and other flexible multi-layered plastics that would normally end up as waste. Once shredded, any contaminants like metals and glass are removed and sent for normal recycling. The remaining plastic is pressurised and heated and sent to the Hydro PRS reactor where it's mixed with what's known as supercritical steam. This breaks it back down to its component molecules so it can be reused in the manufacture of new plastic products, creating a new circular economy for plastic. We're actually using water under high pressure and temperature as a solvent. So we're using water to crack uh, solid plastics back into the liquid oils and hydrocarbons from which they were made, which are used as a feedstock for the pet chem industry to make new plastics. So importantly for us, um, there are no limits to the number of times that material can be recycled in this way. Jess studied chemical engineering at uni and was keen to use that knowledge in forging a sustainable future. I applied for this job more to do with the environmental aspect of it and I want to be involved more in like the plastics recycling and anything that's more environmentally helping the world really. She joined as a graduate when the site was no more than a blueprint. Everything was just drawings on paper um, and now we're almost coming towards the start of commissioning and actually running the plant through and testing everything, making sure the safety's there um, and hopefully going towards operations fairly soon. The plant will produce 20,000 tonnes of recycled hydrocarbons per year, a commercial sized operation, but the plan is to expand the site up to three times that size. Everyone involved in delivering this new technology knows just what an achievement it's been. Every day is a challenge and exciting. We've faced many issues over the course of the project, from the pandemic through to the Ukraine war and its impact on the supply chain. We're getting very close now. It's an exciting new technology in the plastic recycling world and yeah, it feels like we're very much right at the cutting edge of that sector. These complex plastics can now be turned back into raw materials for new plastic manufacturing. No longer a problematic waste that has to be disposed of. Burning plastics emits roughly 40% more CO2 than coal. So from an environmental perspective, really, it's a really bad thing to do. We view this as a truly game-changing technology in the recycling industry. So is this the end of single-use plastic? So ultimately, yes, that's the goal. The goal is to keep uh, plastics um, in a truly circular loop so that the plastics are used, then recycled, remade, reused again. Well, I think everybody should be excited if we have something new coming up and uh, hopefully this will be proliferated across the world. It's incredibly important. It's a big milestone uh, for Dow, for Mura and actually the industry because this is the first commercial plant we will slowly start to come into operation and that's really important because we don't have enough advanced recycling material yet and we need proof points like these.